Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, my name is Shaq and today I've got a very exciting announcement. Hey, listen! So as some of you may know, last year I did, um, I started the filmathon. I did one round of, the first round was all about classics. I didn't have a whole vlog for that week that I did the filmathon for. I will link that down below. There was sprints, there was live readings, there was competitions and stuff. And although I've been trying to get back to those who have won prizes, it hasn't been the smoothest transition and I do apologize for that. This round has a few changes. Number one, there will be no cinema tickets to be won because there's no prizes, there's no nothing. So the idea of the cinema tickets has been scrapped. The second change is there's no group movie instead I decided to do a group book instead because that makes more sense. And number three is the duration of the actual readathon. So we won't be going for a week, we'll be going for a whole month. So you'll have a lot more time to fulfill the prompts that I am going to be assigning to each of the themed challenges. Speaking of of the theme challenges the most prominent change in the filmathon round two is that it is going to be a different theme of course the first round was all about classics and getting to know classics films and having prompts to do with them this round we are going to be you can probably see it in the title you probably probably will spoil myself with the title or the description in some sort of way the second round of the filmathon theme is going to be women in film hence why i'm announcing this on international women's day i know i had uploaded yesterday i already uploaded it for this week and there will be a video on sunday still as well but i couldn't help myself in announcing a woman in film with on um for the filmathon on international women's day it just felt right in my bones it just felt right here are the prompts and the challenges based on women that i personally research and love um in film that history in the film industry have forgotten about the first woman in film we have on here is Catherine Bigelow. So Catherine was the first woman to win an Oscar for her film The Hurt Locker. The prompt for Catherine is to read a book that features a war of some kind because a lot of her films do have wars in them. This war can be actual physical war so you could read about history or you could read about a fantastical war or you could even read about a personal war in terms of like mental health and character development. Any war is a war. The readathon police, the prompt police are not going to come after you and police you. Just whatever is a war for you is a war, it counts. The next woman in film we have is Ava DuVernay. She was the director of 13th and nobody talks about her. Like I haven't seen anyone talk about who made 13th. It is such a poignant beautifully made documentary, so informative, and Ava was the voice behind that, and I can't believe that everyone is just missing her, it's unreal. Ava DuVernay also got an Oscar nomination for Selma. She was also the first woman to direct a live action movie with a budget over 100 million, which went to obviously Wrinkle in Time, which I haven't seen yet, but I've heard really good things about it, and the soundtrack is chef's kiss. The prompt for Ava DuVernay is to read a book written by a black author that includes a fantastical element, because Ava DuVernay is a black filmmaker, and she often has fantastical elements in her films obviously the exception of 13th but a wrinkle in time and her other works do follow that trend the next woman in film i have on my list is greta gerwig i think she is the probably the most known um director on this list as she has directed two of the more popular um films we have seen in recent years so she directed little women the adaptation and she also directed lady bird as well the prompt for greta gerwig is to read a contemporary novel just because greta gerwig often her films surround people in contemporary day so lady bird follows a cast of characters who are like coming of age and also although Little Women is like a historical fiction which was adapted into a film although that was historical fiction it still was contemporary for the time. Greta Gerwig often uh, directs films that are contemporary so I thought reading a contemporary for this prompt was pretty satisfactory. The next woman in the film we have on this list is Dee Reese and she directed Fira and Mudbound. Dee Reese makes a lot of movies with a hard-hitting message. So I decided to go with the prompt, read a book that has a hard-hitting message because it kind of just makes sense. The next woman in the film, uh, she hasn't been lost. Actually, this director is quite praised and rightfully so. Um, that is Patty Jenkins, who is most famous for directing both of the Wonder Woman films. This one is kind of self-explanatory as well. So the prompt for Patty Jenkins is to read a book following a female superhero because of Wonder Woman. You can interpret it in any way as well, whether they are actual a superhero or a supervillain. That is totally cool. You, you 
go, you go, 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 you take that for what you want it to be. The next prompt is for Nina da Costa, who uh, directed Little Woods and The Candyman. So Nina da Costa is predominantly a black horror director, and I know that a lot of people like Jordan Peele, and she works quite closely with Jordan Peele, and I feel like she deserves recognition because she does so well with him. So because of this, Nina's prompt is to read a book written by a black author in the horror genre. I think it's really important that we read these stories and we celebrate them as much as we would if a white person was writing them. So that's why this prompt is in here. Next is Maya Duren. Um, so she has no feature film credit, just short films. She directed Meshes in the Afternoon and she kind of like um, was in the black and white era, maybe before the first talkie, maybe just afterwards, I can't honestly remember. But she often portrayed dance on camera to show emotion and that's where most of her, um, her credit comes from. So obviously the prompt for Maya Duren is to read a book that has an element of dance on the cover or it can be in the story, but if it's in the story, it's probably on the cover as well. Just something that has dance and radio within it. And the last woman in film is Fatima Begum, who was an Indian director. She actually is kind of like recognized as one of the, not only one of the first women directors from India in Bollywood, but also introduced fantastical elements into Bollywood, which is so awesome. Most of her works surround fae and fairies. Um, and not only this, right? She was the first woman to have her own production company in India. Absolute fucking legend. So for this prompt, we're gonna be reading a book by an Indian author. So you can pick any genre of any length, anything like that. Um, it just has to be by an Indian author and preferably own voices as well. All right, there we have it. That is my Filmathon round two announcement video, which includes the prompts. I actually have one more thing to tell you and that is what the group book is. This group book is completely optional. I also don't know if we're gonna be discussing discussion in like a live show. We'll see how many people actually participate and how many people read the book and stuff and we'll just go by ear. The group book for round two of the Filmathon Women in Film is Delayed Rays of a Star by Amanda Lee Coe. I saw this in a Books That Matter book unboxing and I had to buy it immediately because the premise of this sounds so good. So this is basically a historical fiction which captures three of the most famous women I believe at the time in film and you can see how that is relevant to the theme. I've heard really good things about this and I've also heard really good things about Amanda Lee Coe's other works as well so I thought why not read it all together again it's totally optional you don't have to read this but I thought I would include it in here because it fits with the theme and the problems it'd be really nice if I could read this but really with everyone who is looking to take part in the filmathon. Well there you have it those are officially the prompts and the announcement in the group book everything like that for the filmathon round two. This round is obviously women in film. Feel free to hashtag filmathon and at us at Instagram and Twitter, which is at underscore filmathon. Um, I am running it all by myself, so I'm not sure like what the T is with me and uh, being able to do sprints or anything like that. I will try, but I can't predict when I'll be able to do them. And it might just have to be come onto the page whenever you want a sprint and see if there is one. It's gonna be very chill, very chillax. We'll be going for the entire month of April. I actually didn't say when it started. We are going from April 1st until the end of the month. So I think it's the 30th, I think there's 30 days in April. Um, and we have a whole month to read together and to appreciate some women in film. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy any books that you pick up and any productive activity that you manage to do. And I will go ahead and see you next week. Next week is a secret TBR vlog, which I've already mentioned in my last video. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you then.